name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. A very warm welcome to everyone, especially to our senior students who are back in the campus at the moment. Um, as we know, we have been in level 4 and level 3 for almost um, more than two months now. And I know that we are all thinking of what is happening around and some are anxious, but we bring to God all our prayers and all our anxiety, all the things that is in our mind, and we bring it before the Lord for prayer and offer this for this Mass. We especially pray for our seniors who are preparing to take their exams and also for the safety of our school community and of our wider community, which is our, our Fana, our country. And so today, as we celebrate this Mass, let us ask God for pardon and strength. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You will come again to judge the living and the dead, Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit comes to the aid of our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought. But the Spirit himself intercedes with the inexpressible groanings, and the one who searches hearts knows what is the intention of the Spirit, because he intercedes for the Holy Ones, according to God's will. We know that all things work good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. For those he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, so that he may be the firstborn among many brothers. And those he predestined, he also called. And those he called, he also justified. And those he justified, he also glorified. This is the word of the Lord. Let your response be, My hope, O Lord, is in your mercy. Give light to my eyes, that I may not sleep in death, lest my enemies say I have overcome him, lest my foes rejoice in my downfall. Though I trusted in your mercy, let my heart rejoice in your salvation. Let me sing of the Lord, for he has been good to me. Alleluia, alleluia. God has called us with the gospel to share in the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Through towns and villages, Jesus went teaching, making his way to Jerusalem. Some said to him, Sir, Will there be only few saved? And he said to them, Try your best to enter the narrow door. Because I tell you, many will try to enter and not succeed. Once the master of the house had got up and locked the door, you may find yourself knocking on the door, saying, Lord, open to us. But he will answer, I do not know where you come from. Then you will find yourself saying, we once ate and drank in your company. You taught us in our streets. But he will reply, I do not know where you come from. Away from me, all you wicked men. And there will be wiping and grinding of teeth. When you see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob 
and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, and yourself turned outside. And men from the east and west, from north and from south, will come to take their places at the feast in the kingdom of God. Yes, there are those now lost who will be first, and those now first who will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. As praise, one of our ministry or duty, if you like, is visiting the sick. And in almost seven years of being a priest, I have visited a number of people who are sick in the hospital, rest homes, or in their own home. But there is one visit or encounter that stands out in me, and this happens a few years ago in the hospital. So as I approached the patient's bed, she asked me if I can teach her how to pray. And so I replied, yes, I am going to pray for you. Do not worry, I brought Holy Communion and the oil for the anointing of the sick. And she politely told me, you can do that later, Father. But can you please teach me how to pray? And I was really confused and puzzled at the time. So I asked her, you are a regular mass goer. And you know the prayers of the church by heart. The Our Father, the Hail Mary. And she replied, Yes, I do, Father. But what I am asking of you is to teach me how to pray. And then I realized that she wants, what she wants is for me to lead her in a personal or spontaneous prayer to God, to Jesus. So I hold her hands and I ask the Holy Spirit to guide us. And I told her to tell God what she feels and what she wants and any concern he would like to tell God. And so she did. And after the prayer, she told me, Thank you, Father. You know, I have been a Catholic all my life, but this is the first time I have felt that I have really spoken directly to God. Yes, I have felt in the Mass and the sacraments, but when I was talking to Him today, I know that He is present with me. My dear brothers and sisters, in the first reading today, we have heard Paul telling us, telling the community of Rome, that we need the help or guidance of the Holy Spirit in order for us to pray, in order for us to communicate with God because we do not know how to pray as we should. This is actually makes sense because as we approach God, we know that we are in front of someone who is greater than us, that we are in front of someone who knows us, who cannot lie, we cannot lie to God, we cannot hide from Him. And so when we communicate, when we pray to Him, we should also be guided by Him, by the Spirit, so that we can tell Him all the things that is in our heart, so that we can praise Him from our heart. And this is how I see it, that as a father, God knows that we are nervous and anxious and even afraid as we approach Him, that He will guide us as we talk to Him. We just need to be led by the Spirit, by God Himself, so that we can freely talk to Him. As St. John Mary Vianney will say, Prayer is nothing else than a union with God. When the heart is pure and united with God, it is consoled and filled with sweetness. It is dazzled by a marvelous light. Amen. Let us approach God in prayer today as we offer our prayers of thanksgiving, as we ask Him for the needs of our community. For the Church, 
that the church may be a light which makes it possible to see what is good and beautiful and bring freedom justice and charity to places darkened by oppression injustice or violence lord hear us for our national leaders that they ensure the protection and care of those who are vulnerable may they prioritize the health and safety of people over political and partisan interests lord hear us for employers that they provide safe working conditions make proper payments to their workers and ensure that the work they provide adds to the quality of people's lives lord hear us for people who have no job have lost jobs or are seeking jobs that they will not be discouraged and that they will be supported in times of uncertainty and that they will find employment lord hear us for our school community that we will continue to thrive in such a challenging learning environment may those who are struggling to cope with the difficulties this pandemic brings find comfort in the charity and compassion in the people around them lord hear us for those who are sick and dying that they experience the love and compassion of the people around them may god's presence be their source of comfort as well at this time of difficulty lord hear us heavenly father this and all the prayers in our heart we ask through christ our lord Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For true goodness we have received, this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us our bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for true goodness we have received, this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, will become for us a spiritual drink. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings you make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is solely right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sana in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks of how this worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Patrick our Bishop, Michael as auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and gracefully grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Offer to one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. May your sacrament, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass has been offered, go in peace, to love and serve the Lord. Have a beautiful day, everyone, and to our students, keep safe, especially those who are at school at the moment. And for those who are watching us at home, um, please be safe as well and continue our prayers.